Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I have a Deshaun Watson update for you. You probably already have heard this, but Deshaun Watson will miss 11 games of the upcoming NFL season for the Cleveland Browns. Now, unless you are unaware and been under a rock, uh, and don't know this, um, he was, Deshaun Watson was uh, accused by 24 people of nonviolent uh, sexual abuse. And um, the, uh, what he ended up doing was settling 20 of those cases uh, with, uh, with financial uh, payments. And only four remain and i'm not sure what the status of those is those still may go to trial uh, but the nfl has ruled that he will miss 11 games of this season um, for his involvement or alleged involvement in those um, cases i mean i think it's apparent um, that he did something wrong and uh quite often quite quite a few times and gotten a lot of trouble for it so anyway uh this has been a long pending case he missed all of last season when he was on the houston texans and he will miss 11 games this year uh before i give my reaction to that let's uh take a listen to rich eisen on the subject on the rich eisen show 11 game suspension for deshaun watson so he will not be suspended for the full year. He will get a $5 million fine for reprehensible behavior. And I know any time I have spoken about this from here, I have heard it. You're an NFL stooge. But last I checked, nobody did what Deshaun Watson has done. Sliding into DMs, 66 different masseuses, behavior that the person who initially handed down a six game suspension to called some of the most egregious behavior the NFL has ever had to discipline. Okay. So, um, that's Rich Eisen's reaction. Uh, my reaction is, uh, I think that this is, uh, I think this is a fitting punishment. I don't think it should have been an entire season, and I don't think the NFL really wanted it to be an entire season, not only because Deshaun Watson and his camp would have taken this uh, to court if they had given him the entire season, but on top of that, he's one of their superstars. On the field, on a football team, on the field, he is one of the NFL's superstars. And you don't want to keep your one of your superstars sidelined um, as long as you don't have to. Yet, 11 games also does, and he was also fined $5 million, as Rich Eisen uh, stated. So $5 million, 11 games. Um, you don't want to keep one of your superstars sidelined for an entire season uh, as a league, as any league. So... Um, I think that this, but it still sends the message that, hey, this is serious. We take it seriously, and this is what our punishment for him is. Um, and uh, at the same time, not going uh, too far with it. So, yeah, they negotiated a settlement um, on uh, the length of the time that he'll miss. Now, this was... Uh, handled the way that the NFL does their disciplinary process is they have a judge, uh, Sue L. Robinson, I want to say was her name. Anyway, um, they have a judge that, um, that ta a retired judge maybe, that um, investigates the situation. She does an investigation, she talks to witnesses, and then she gives the NFL a recommendation. Her recommendation was six games. But as Rich Eisen said, her recommendation also described this as something more serious than probably the NFL has ever had to deal with. So, uh, but her recommended, um, her recommended uh, um, punishment was to miss six games. The NFL 
got a negotiation with uh, Deshaun Watson's camp, and they arrived at 11 games. Uh, and the players' union, and the players' union, and Deshaun Watson are not are likely not going to argue this or take it to court or take it any further because uh, this is it, it's not a full season, and they were hoping to get off with something um, less than a full season. He'll still play six games at the end of the season, so I think they're going to be relatively satisfied with that. Um, I did do a, a video on the Deshaun Watson case when it first came out, or near the beginning when it um, was it had first come out, and I will put that in the uh, end screen, you know, end card. But what do you guys think? Uh, do you think it was too harsh, the NFL's um, negotiated settlement? Do you think it didn't go far enough? Would you like to see him, um, you know, uh, sit out an entire season? Would you like to see him not play again? There's, I've heard that there were people uh, that were of the opinion he shouldn't be able to play again. Um, I think certainly that would have been way too harsh, but that's just my opinion. I think this comes down just about right. I was figuring it would be 10 games. Turns out it's 11. Um, but I think that's right in the ballpark of what I would have expected and what I think is, is reasonable. So that's my opinion, but I look forward to what you guys think. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.